We all know how good bone broth is for us. But did you know that instead of buying it at the store that you can make it at home for free? Yep, with all the scraps that you used when you cooked that week or that month, you can make the bone broth. So the deal is, is you cut an onion, you put all of the parts that you're not gonna eat into a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer. Next day you cut a green pepper, put those bits in there with it. Next day you cut a carrot, some celery, Put all the stalks, all the ends, all the bits that you don't eat. Just put them all in there. Make a chicken. Instead of throwing the carcass out, you put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. You have pork chops. Instead of throwing the bones in the trash, you put them in the Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. Um, anything that you aren't eating that's either a vegetable or a bone of some sort, you put in these bags, put them in the freezer. They'll keep for like six months and then when you're ready to make your bone broth, then you take them all and you put them in a large pot, pour water over it, enough to cover all the bones and the veg, and then a cup of apple cider vinegar, and let it sit for an hour, just without heat or anything for an hour on the stove. And then turn the heat all the way up and get it to where it's boiling. Put in all your spices, I use a lot of spices because it is amazing for a cold. And as you could probably tell, I have a cold right now. So I am shocked that I'm out of it. <laughs> and so since I had to make it, I thought I'd show you how to make it at the same time. So I actually recorded a video that had all of the bags that I had, but the sound wasn't working. So all the bags of all the meat and all the veg are in here, but they were just Ziploc bags, big ones, the freezer bags. And I have chicken bones, I have beef bones, I have pork bones, all different bones. All my meat's always organic, so it's really good. And if you don't cook or you're a vegetarian, then you can do this just with veggies. Or if you aren't a vegetarian and you don't cook, you can ask your butcher for some bones or you can buy these in any supermarket in the freezer. These are premium beef marrow bones. You can get oxtail bones. You can also do this with fish instead if you wanted to do with fish bones, but I prefer the meat ones. I put a ton of ginger in there. These are like five really big hunks of ginger. And then I even put the skins in there. I know I shouldn't even bother skinning them, but that's the thing with this, this broth is that there's so many nutrients in the parts of the broccoli and the cauliflower and the celery that we don't eat because they don't look pretty or whatever, but they have so many nutrients in them. So you can get all those nutrients in this broth by not throwing those stalks away. I also had some leeks in the freezer that were in there for too long, so I'll throw those in. And I had some artichokes that needed to be cooked, frozen ones, so I'll throw those in. I put a lot of turmeric in there because turmeric is so good for you when you're sick. Bone broth has so many amazing ben benefits because of its antioxidants and its amino acids. It can do everything to help you lose weight, to build muscle, to heal bone problems, to fight cancer. I mean, there's so many things that it can do. It's a real superfood. And I'm gonna link some different articles below so that you can see, but I just want to show you how to make it. So there's my gingers in here, my turmeric's in here. Put some crushed red pepper. And this is a really tall pot. This is not like a average pot that you would get in a, a set of pots. It's a really tall one. And the 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. And here's where you can use those those um, those berries and seeds that you have. Like these are coriander seeds. You don't want to go crazy with anything because they're really kind of strong. But I like to put those in there because I know they're good for me. Dried juniper berries. These are really strong, so you don't want to put too many of those. And 
And I put a little bit of whole allspice, not much, because I don't like that Christmassy taste in my bone broth, but I know they're good for me, so I put a few in there. And then you can put salt. As, at this point, I prefer to use this um, caldo, caldo de pollo by Nor. It's a chicken flavored bouillon. And to me, it's better than salt because it has that chickeny flavor in it. So I'm pretty generous with this. Like maybe half of that big cap full. This is from Costco, so it's like the really big one. Because I'm going to put a lot of water in here. So I put my cup of apple cider vinegar. The Bragg one's the best one. And then fill it up with water. And I used filtered water to fill it up with, but you don't have to. You can use your tap water. Our tap water just isn't the best here in Seal Beach. And you can also do this in the crock pot if you don't want to deal with the stove bubbling. But I think it makes a house smell like a house should. It makes it smell like food. And um, so I, I like the smell, but you can also do it in a crock pot and just leave it overnight. Once this comes to the boil, then I'm going to turn it down to simmer and I'll leave it for anywhere between four and 12 hours. It'll give you, the longer you leave it, the thicker and the nicer the broth will be. And then when you're done with that, you just strain it out and voila, you have your bone broth. And you can season it from there. And some people reuse their bones again. I don't, but you could. But it's just incredible that it's free and it's so nourishing. It's so good for you. It's so good for your kids. It's something that you can have in the morning instead of coffee or tea. You can be putting all these proteins and amino acids and, and all these nutrients into your body instead of some cup of coffee that's just going to zoom you up and drop you down and it's i mean i know people that put it in ice cube trays and make ice cubes with them and suck on those all day i mean it's really that good for you and again i'll link the books and the articles that really explain the science behind it but i think it's more than science i think it's about the love that's in here too you know our grandparents and our ancestors they, they cooked with the whole animal. They, you know, they boiled the bones and you, they drank the broth and they were a lot of times healthier than us. So it's something to me that's really, really worth the time and energy. And it's great because you feel like you're not wasting all that, all the food and all the things that you're throwing away and you're getting all the nutrients that you wouldn't normally get because you would have thrown them away. So I hope that helps you.